Welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and by grabbing one of my free ebooks from my website. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to pick a lock and how to do so more quickly. I'm going to be doing this tutorial at White Springs. For one, it has a boatload of locks to pick, so there's plenty of them to practice on. White Springs is located on the east side of the map, about the middle, over by the railroad right here, as you can see in this image. Just go inside the main building. There's several entrances that you can go in. And you're just going to go to the um, main hallway. Now from uh, this uh, side entrance, you're just going to go all the way to the back of the hallway. On the uh, left hand side, there's going to be a desk. It's like a manager's desk. And just right behind it is a bellman station. I'm not sure what they're called. But uh, there's a door behind him. And uh, it is a three though, a lockpick three, which means you got to have three points in the lockpick, see these cards, to be able to um, pick the lock. Now there is, I believe, a suitcase that is a zero and a one that's outside the door if your lockpick is not that high yet. Later in the video, I do show you where there is a door that is a zero, so anyone can pick that lock as long as you have lockpicks, which are the bobby pins that you can buy or find. To pick a lock, you simply click on it. The right stick moves the bobby pin around and the left stick uh, attempts to pick the lock. When you attempt to pick the lock, the closer to the exact spot you are, the more give there is. Your controller will vibrate when there's no more give and the screwdriver will stop moving. See how much of the screwdriver is actually moving with each of my attempts? Very little. But if it had moved not at all, I would have known I was in the wrong spot. So now I'm just tweaking in this area. And now you're going to see the screwdriver move quite a bit because I'm really close on this one. So I'm just tweaking some more until I get it. And that's how you know you're in the general area, is how much give there is. Sometimes these locks are real easy. You get them like within a couple turns and then sometimes it just takes forever. If your lock pick breaks and you come back into the lock, it is the exact same spot that you're looking for. Now if you exit yourself, the lock pick is going to reset, so you'll have to start over. Okay, that lock happened to be at the very top, but let me show you a lock that doesn't start at the top, and we'll talk about the grid. When using the grid, start at the very top. If there's no give, go to one side. There's no give on that side, try the other side. That's the first three points. Then you're going to divide them in half. Here's the next part of the grid. And then once you find some give, you work in that area. So you can actually create three, five, I think I have about nine areas on the grid. The more you practice, the better you'll get at these. And here's also a hint. If you can notice, there's discolorations on the lock. While you're picking it, notice where your um, bobby pin is in case the bobby pin breaks and it resets so you know where to go back and start again. The rest of the video will show you how to get to that door that has a zero lock pick. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and don't forget to like and share. Till next time!